Hi, I'm Maya, a software engineer on the Telegraph team at Influx Data. And I'm Nathaniel, manager on the Flux team, also at Influx Data. And today we're going to talk about using Flux to query our geotemporal data. Yeah, and this is part three in a three-part mini-series on this topic. So now we have our geotemporal data, what can we do with it? Yeah, we can start asking questions of our data now. We can ask questions like, does a track go through a region? Or does a track, how far apart are two tracks? Or how far apart are two points? These kinds of questions. How could I use Flux to tell if my track went through a region? Yeah, so again, we're going to come back to the geo package, and specifically the filter rows function. So this function uh, allows us to take our input data that now has our S2 cell ID, our latitude and longitude data, any other fields that we may have, and filter it to only the rows that are within inside the region that we've specified. So if we take a closer look here, this region argument specifies the details of a shape or a region. Um, this one specifies a circle, so we have a lat and long as a center point and then a radius. Um, you can specify shapes like I've drawn up here that are arbitrary polygon shapes. And so, yeah, that's as simple as, it, simple as that. You take your input data, filter it to just the data that's inside the region that you've specified. And what is this strict true? Yeah, strict true is here in order to, be, to choose an efficient computation at the trade-off of a less accurate computation. So you can either have a faster, less accurate, or a slower, precise answer to your question here. And the reason this works is we can use the S2 cell IDs to make the computation really fast. So when we get your input data, we already know the cell IDs of the track. And then we compute the cell IDs that are inside the region. And we see if any of those overlap. And we say that it must be inside the region. But it's possible that a track that comes near the region but not actually inside it is still in the same cell, and so we would falsely include that one. It's really fast to do that computation, but if you specify strict set to true, then after we found the bits of the tracks that are in the same regions, we'll, or in the same cells, rather, then we will do the extra math to determine whether or not it's really truly inside the region or not. And so that's what strict is about. That makes sense. Thank you for explaining this to me today. If you still want more information, check out our docs. And we can't wait to see what you build.